Welcome into another edition of the Reality of Wrestling here, ladies and gentlemen, as we're going to get started with Interim Diamonds Division Championship action, Brittany. Yes, Lady Bird here, blowing kisses. That was to me? I, I guess. Or to you? To probably. Maybe to you. To probably Brittany. Yeah, me. It was to me, honestly. Let's be real. But Lady Bird here to take on our Interim Diamonds Champion. Thank God it's Friday. Me and Friday walks into the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena, still the interim Diamonds Division champion. Give you a bit of a recap. She had that match with Roxanne Perez when Lady Bird and Rache Chanel made their presence felt, leading to a tag team match in which Mia Friday and Roxanne Perez were victorious. And now we're going to see her once again defend that championship, this time against Lady Bird. You've got to imagine that for Mia Friday, this one's going to be personal. Extremely personal as she's looking back at Lady Bird. Lady Bird, a serious look, looking like she didn't come here to play. Making a statement previously against Roxanne Perez and Mia Friday. The Diamonds Division Championship, one of the most prestigious championships in all of Texas, now in the hands of Mia Friday. And proudly defending that championship against all comers. She called her shot and wanted Roxanne Perez, and we saw how that match ended just a few weeks ago. But now here tonight, we are seeing her defend the belt against Lady Bird. Mia Friday with the wrist lock. Reversal from Lady Bird here. Oh, and trying to pull that arm out of socket. Look at this, the champion rolling through. Oh, the cover. But Lady Bird able to kick out immediately. It's now at this point here, Brittany, who do you think has more to prove, Mia Friday or Lady Bird? Well, here's the thing is Mia Friday didn't get to prove what she felt she needed to against Roxanne Perez being rudely interrupted by Roche Chanel and Lady Bird here. So this is definitely something for her to fight back on. Irish whip reversal. Oh. Mia Friday was ready for it. Side headlock here from Lady Bird. Oh. And look at that. Mia Friday was able to counter the counter. Getting Let's a shoulder up. Cover here. Cover here. One. You can tell, though, Mia Friday has all this confidence about her. Another cover here, but another kick out. But in the best of ways. You know, it's allowed her to become better and grow into the potential that she, we have always known that she has had. And Brad, you had said it previously that when somebody gains a championship, they get 30% better, as it was that you've said. Give or, give or take. Give or, give or take, you know. Oh, Rover here. here, one. But Mia Friday counters at one. Another kick out. Oh. And look at that, quick head scissors right there onto Mia Friday. Oh. And these two standing toe to toe. And rather equally matched here, Brad. Yeah, Mia Friday, this is a, a big defense for her. This is, you know, her first defense, six going up against Roxanne Perez. Wants to prove that she is the champion we all believe her to be. Lady Bird, though, not playing around whatsoever in this match. No, a newcomer to reality of wrestling already making a statement. Lady Bird counters here as Mia Friday used oh. the bottom rope to get up in that tough position. Oh. And now Lady Bird. Oh, look at this. Oh. Mia able to turn it to her advantage. Yeah. And that, that right there just is the craftiness that Mia Friday brings to the table, Brad. Oh, looking for this TGI She's Friday. She's calling for it already. Oh. oh. Damn. 
Damn, that even hurt her hand. Look at that. Yeah, that's yeah. She might have broke that hand. She might have broke a phalange on that one. That's the bone in your I, hand. I know I what it know. is. You know, I never know what's in it. <laughs> Lady Bird, after that right hand, was able to completely stun anything that Mia Friday was bringing oh. to the table. And you know, I know she has a gymnastics background, but do you think maybe she also has a boxing background after oh. that right hand? Oh. I don't know. Maybe slap boxing. Perhaps. <laughs> Mia Friday now is just being controlled by Lady Bird. And you've got to imagine that this is the pace that Lady Bird wants to keep up. And look at that. There's a gymnastics background. Oh, and and she now catches him with a kick. Now for the victory here, but no kick out at two from the champion. Even though that was a hard kick there, a light cover as it was, not even really hooking the legs or putting any kind of weight on Mia Friday is not going to get you a win. Oh, now the oh, danger. No. Of the matchup here, oh. as we saw Mia take a spill, and that could just be the damage adding up. And Lady Bird in prime position to possibly take that championship away from Mia Friday. She now has a target on that left knee. Oh, yeah, she smells blood in the water here. But these are the kind of matches Mia Friday has to get used to. If anyone is going against you for the championship, it is going to be brutal. It's going to be hard hitting. It's going to be devastating to your body. Oh, and look at this. That's The Cobra clutches in here from Lady Bird. But Mia Friday able to get back up to a vertical base. Not a good spot here for Lady Bird to continue oh, that hold. Oh, damn. Do you think maybe that hurt Mia Friday as well as we know that left knee is oh. injured? Left knee might be injured, but that right elbow sure did the trick. And the adrenaline is keeping Mia Friday upright. Yeah, Mia Friday won't feel that injury tonight. Yeah. She'll feel it when she wakes up tomorrow. But as long as she wakes up tomorrow with that Diamonds Division Championship next to her, she's going to be all right. Here we, go. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Academic at this point. Mia's feeling it. Well, Mia not even going for a cover yet. She might be thinking to do needs to do more damage here to Lady Bird. Oh, well, Lady Bird though had that scouted. Yeah, that could have been a mistake. To the challenger. Oh! Credit to the challenger. Credit to the challenger. Can she capitalize? Can Lady Bird capitalize right now? We could have a new champion. The knee to the back of the neck connected, and now Lady Bird just needs to go for a cover, and she can call herself Diamond's champion Oh, instead. Lady Bird, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know if I like that. Lady Bird, you're looking to finish it, but Mia says oh. no. Mia got the opening. Oh, and no. And may have cost Lady Bird the championship as now she rolls through. Oh, and outside the ring, pulling by the hair, but oh. hung up on the ropes. And look at this, Lady Bird from the middle. Oh, she oh. fell, she fell, she fell. She did not get that one. She, she, did, did, not, she did not have solid footing on that top. That happens. That's oh. the thing. Oh. Oh. ballet, and it leads right into that. One, two, three. One mistake. One major mistake from Lady Bird cost her this match. Mia Friday able to win this matchup and retain the gold. After Brad said one mistake and that's all it costs. And whenever you're in a championship match, you've got to be on top of your game, Brittany. Well, let's hope that Mia has a little bit of time before her next defense so we can rehab whatever has happened to that knee and be able to hold that title high as the Diamonds Division Champion. And still, TGI Friday. Got a lot more action here for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for more Reality of Wrestling.